Governor Baker teared up when I spoke with him about leaving this job. He says he'll miss it. Governor Charlie Baker leaving the state house for the last time and joined by his wife, Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito and her husband. The governor emotional as he wraps up his two terms in office. I think the big thing. I'll miss it. I'm going to leave it at that. A day filled with pomp and circumstance. Governor Baker presenting Governor-elect Maura Healey with ceremonial gifts, the original key to the office, a gavel, a Bible, and books with messages from one governor to the next. He also gave the governor-elect a coin from the family of a soldier killed in Afghanistan, calling it a reminder of the sacrifices made by military families. Governor Baker, how are you feeling? The governor also walking down the halls of the State House to swear in members of the House and Senate for their new session. He tells us he believes he's had a good impact, but will miss the work. We live in kind of a cynical and skeptical age, and um, and there's nothing cynical or skeptical about what I've seen for the past and done and worked on for the past eight years, and. Uh, and I will miss that a lot. Now he says he'll likely unpack some boxes from his office, catch his breath, and take a break. What's going to go through your mind when you see the first really bad snowstorm? <laughs> I'll roll over and go back to sleep. <laughs> Governor Baker is still in office technically until tomorrow when Governor-elect Moore Healey is sworn in. At the State House, Sharman Sakedi, WCVB News Center 5.